Hey, it's Alex from Android Central. Today we're taking a look at the new HTC One M8 and comparing it to the latest stock Android phone from Google, the Nexus 5. Now, this is a bit of a weird comparison between these two phones, considering the M8 costs almost twice as much as the Nexus, uh, but it's also interesting to see what that extra cash gets you. Starting on the outside, these two couldn't really be any more different. The Nexus 5 has a lightweight, soft-touch plastic case, while the M8 has a heavier but more premium-feeling metal chassis. HTC's flagship definitely feels better in the hand, but there's an odd side effect of it being so curvy and metallic. It's a bit more slippery in the hand, so you do need to be a bit more careful one-handing it. The M8 is also a much taller phone than the Nexus 5, despite the nearly identical screen sizes. That's mostly down to the HTC Boom Sound speakers at the top and bottom of the display, which are louder, bassier, and just generally better than the speakers of the Nexus 5. The M8 also has a more vivid display with a wider color gamut, although the Nexus screen still looks pretty good. In terms of internals, there's not too much to tell these two apart. You've got a Snapdragon 800 in the Nexus and an 801 in the HTC One. So the M8 is faster on paper, but there's generally no noticeable difference in performance or responsiveness. They're both very, very fast. You also get 2 gigs of RAM and 16 or 32 gigs of storage, though the M8 supports micro SD cards up to 128 gigs, which is an option you won't get on the Nexus. The other big difference is battery life, 2300 mAh capacity battery on the N5 versus 2600 on the M8. Not a huge difference on paper, but the HTC device seems to last much longer between charges. We're getting around 16 hours out of heavy use out of it compared to 12 from the Nexus 5, which makes a big difference on longer days. On the software side, the differences are equally huge. Stock Android 4.4 KitKat on the Nexus 5, which looks great and performs really well. It's a bare bones Android experience, but Google's got a lot to offer with its new dialer app, which is searchable and plugs into its business directory, and the Google Now launcher, which brings predictive search to your home screen. Over in HTC Sense 6 on the M8, you get a home screen setup based around Blinkfeed, HTC's home screen reader, which draws on social updates and news feeds, as well as calendar entries, and Fitbit's badges, and a bunch of other stuff. The overall look and feel of Sense isn't a million miles away from stock Android, and the UI is generally very well designed and attractive. And there's a bit more color to be found in Sense 6, with customizable themes and accent colors. HTC's camera and gallery apps include 3D and defocus effects thanks to the second Duo camera. And you also get automatic video highlight reels through the gallery app, though Google provides a similar service through Google Plus on all Android phones. What's more, the M8 offers TV connectivity through Sense TV and its IR port, which is a feature you won't find on the Nexus 5. And we're also loving Motion Launch, which lets you wake up the M8 without reaching for its admittedly awkward positioned power button. When it comes to cameras, neither device performs fantastically. The HTC One has an updated 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera, which is probably the fastest Android camera we've used, but it's let down by that low megapixel count, which limits the amount of detail you can capture. The Nexus 5's 8 megapixel optically stabilized camera is the opposite, slow to capture, which means it's not great for fast moving objects, but it uh, does capture a lot more detail, especially in its excellent HDR plus mode. So how do these two shape up overall? Well, we have to take into account the fact the HTC One M8 costs almost twice as much as the Nexus 5 from the Play Store. And it really comes down to the question of quality versus value. Right now, there are a few phones out there that can challenge the M8 on build quality, speed, and software experience. And even with its slightly wonky camera, it's an excellent buy at the high end. Meanwhile, the Nexus 5 is still the best smartphone you can buy at its price point of $350 or £300. And the Nexus also has some unique advantages of its own, as it'll always be first with Android updates and runs Google's stock unmodified OS for people who prefer that. But given the choice, we'd side with the HTC One with its metal chassis and all-day battery life over the more affordable Nexus 5. But that doesn't mean you should overlook the N5 if you want a great Android phone without breaking the bank. Music